<laughs> what is going on guys it is fatal reaper day and if you haven't already guys be sure to hit that like button and subscribe it's going to be a pretty quick video i want to show you guys how you can pop in fix input lag on your controller on your PC whether that's your PC or laptop mainly for the laptop I'm doing this on my main PC however um, so let's go ahead and jump into this video so first of all you're gonna open up your file explorer and you're gonna make a new folder name it whatever you want I've already done mine as you can see it's up here it's called input lag second thing is you're gonna click the link down below very important follow all these steps click the link down below in the description of my video of this one um, it'll it'll say it right there it should be like um, about the fourth or fifth link um, the rest are just Amazon affiliate links. So what you're going to do is you're going to download that. And it is safe. It is the second one from bottom. You're going to click download. Once you have that downloaded, again, right there, second one from bottom, make sure you are clicking the second one from bottom. Very important. You're going to click download. Once you've downloaded it, now I've already done this step, but it's going to pop up um, on your, um, it's just going to pop up in the files. You're going to copy and paste. It's pretty easy. Just select them all, copy and paste them. And then you're going to after you copy and paste these right here with the driver you see. You're going to copy. And then you're going to go paste it. And again, I've already done this, so that's why you're not seeing me do it in real time. So you go over here and you're going to input lag, the new folder, or whatever new folder you just named it. And you're going to click in drivers after you've pasted it. And you're going to click setup. You're going to go in this little um, drop menu and you're going to drop all. Now you should see your controller on here. Again, I've already done this step, but it's the um, whatever controller you're using, whether that's DualShock, which would be PlayStation, or Xbox One, as you can see for what I use. So after you do that, it's very important here. You're going to want to click the filter little uh, box. You're going to check that box in the left bottom left corner, and you're going to want to put the rate on 1,000. So make sure that is on 1,000, and make sure you do install the service afterwards. Now, before you install the service, unplug your controller, or after you've installed the service, excuse me, unplug your controller, and then plug your controller back in. And if your controller, if it comes back up, it should say yes. It should be green lit, and it should say 1,000. Now this should help and put you around the two to three millisecond mark, and should help with input any input lag that you have. Again, if you don't, then you m might have not done a step correctly. Make sure you follow all these steps. Again, unplug after you've done so, and then plug it back up, and it should, as you just saw in the video, I just unplugged it and plugged it back up, and it did pop up. And it should look exactly like that. It'll say 1,000 and say yes. Do make sure the um, little box in the left corner is clicked. And then you can just exit out of this. You don't need it anymore. Now, if you do get a Windows update, to my knowledge from the research that I did do quickly, you do have to do this once again, guys. I'm going to go ahead and launch Modern Warfare Multiplayer just to show you guys more in depth, just to see if it actually worked. I myself have never had any issues with input lag on my controllers on my main PC, but I have had them with my gaming laptop, the HP Pavilion to be specific, and this will work the same way, same rules apply. I will tell you guys, I was a little skeptical, and I was a little afraid of the download. The download, again, does not bother anything. It is safe. I did some research. It is a safe download, so don't worry about any viruses or anything. But it did download um, and installed the software correctly, and I will say I was shocked to actually see a difference or feel a difference. I'll say though, I'm actually shocked of how well it actually did. I do have to say that my quickness, my reaction is even faster. And you know, sometimes that you can deal with. Now you have to understand the difference between input lag and actual lag. So if you are having actual lag, make sure you check your latency and your your um, network just to make sure, or your network connection, your internet connection, to make sure you are, you know, getting, um, you're not just lagging or anything like that, because I have had those issues in the past, but if it is input lag, which I know a lot of people suffer from that, I myself did too on my laptop, make sure you do do these steps, and it should fix, and I have to say, guys, I'm actually blown away of how much more I can just, I can feel the snappiness of when I um, just click the buttons and everything in the response time. So what input lag is, is the milliseconds, between your controller when you click it uh, anything on the controller even if it's plugged up to when you know you it gets to back to the PC or laptop whatever you're using and that's what input lag is input lag when it's really bad is um, you know like just it just takes forever when you click it it just seems like there's a huge delay now on the laptop I could definitely tell that but after doing this I do have to say there is a dramatic difference and I do recommend doing it make sure you follow all those steps if you guys have any questions do leave me some comments down below I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe as always and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching
precision airstrike on the way. 